Patient 1136, please come to window one. Here's your medicine, 30 milligrams. We have evidence-based treatments for opioid use disorder. Someone who is on medication-assisted treatment, they double their likelihood of achieving abstinence in periods of early recovery. There are three FDA-approved medications, methadone, buprenorphine, and naltrexone. The popular names are Suboxone, Subutex, and Vivitrol. From the Director of Addiction the Service for Emory Healthcare, Dr. Justine Welsh. There is a significant stigma against these medications. There is this concern that if somebody is on a type of medication-assisted treatment, that they're not truly abstinent. They're taking some sort of, of drug. And in reality, that's just not true. To understand how these medications work to help people remain abstinent from using opioids, we need to first take a look at what happens to a brain on opioids. Our brain is filled with opioid receptors. When the brain is stimulated by things we find pleasurable, such as eating, social interaction, or sex, these receptors are activated and cause dopamine to be released. When someone takes an opioid, it is much more potent and causes much more dopamine to be released, which can cause a rush of euphoria and a sense of well-being. For a person in pain, this can alleviate that pain. The more someone takes opioids, the more the brain adapts to having them around. It's called tolerance. You need more and more to relieve the pain or to get high. Oftentimes, people have to take higher doses to control withdrawal symptoms, such as aching, fever, diarrhea, vomiting, sweating, and chills. Now to the medications that treat opioid use disorder. With the controlled use of methadone and buprenorphine, both activate the opioid receptors just enough to prevent an opioid-addicted person from feeling withdrawal or cravings, but not enough to get them high. This helps prevent relapse while their brain gradually heals. Naltrexone, a once monthly injection, blocks opioid receptors and prevents the opioid from having its usual effects. A life-saving emergency medication is naloxone, more commonly known as Narcan. It's an overdose reversing drug that blocks the effects of opioids on the brain, restoring breathing to an overdose person. The use of heroin has been increasing in recent years among men and women, most age groups, and all income levels. Some of the biggest increases have occurred in groups with historically low rates of heroin use, women, the privately insured, and people with higher incomes. Three out of four people who use heroin report misusing prescription opioids first. People often move to heroin when access to prescription opioids is cut off. Fentanyl is cheap and easy to make. Just a tiny bit of it added to another drug can make it more potent and deadly. In Georgia, the greatest increase in opioid deaths was seen in cases involving synthetic opioids, a rise from 61 deaths in 2012 to 349 deaths in 2018. So I started working in... Dr. Hannah Cooper is the chair in substance use disorders at the Rollins School of Public Health. She shared a dramatic example of just how much illicit fentanyl has infiltrated the drug supply. This is what happened for a study Cooper and her team were doing with heroin users. So we had a lot of people coming in to be screened to take part in the study. Um, they, were, they would report, uh, you know, using opioids, you know, in the past 24 hours, X times a day, and then they would be negative. And that always happened sometimes, but we, we were puzzled that it was happening more often than we had expected. Um, and it turned out that everyone in our sample, or everyone who we were recruiting into the sample, uh, they thought they were using heroin, and that's what they were reporting using, but they were testing negative for opioids because they were actually using fentanyl. Um, and so we'd had to change the urine test to capture that. According to the DEA, fentanyl is manufactured in clandestine labs traced to Mexico and China. It is often sent to the United States through the U.S. postal system. 